And what's up, everybody, and welcome to a very exciting tutorial series all about GPT Researcher, which is a open source, publicly available um, research project powered by AI. So it actually enables any user to uh, run, run research and uh, fetch data dynamically from the web or from your local documents, inject it into the LLM context, run some analysis and and kind of and, and give you give you just awesome awesome uh highly relevant and up-to-date reports and research depending on your area of interest it's got 15k stars on github it's highly highly configurable swap out the llm swap out the web search engine which powers its research and uh, swap out a bunch of other stuff we're going to cover a lot of it in this tutorial series, and there's a ton to cover. Um, we've also got fantastic documentation, and that documentation shows you how to run this project as a full stack Next.js app or as a pip package uh, and um, how to pretty much uh, inject custom context based on local documents or web search and a bunch of other stuff. This is kind of the high level flow of what the project does under the hood. A researcher user will have a task the, and then everything to the right of it will be the, the actual flow. And then at the end, you're gonna get a research report. So it'll plan it, break down your query into subtasks, inject local documents and web search results into a vector database, search that vector database, crunch the data, analyze it, summarize it, and put it into a report for you. And this is pretty much what the demo video looks like. So my name is Alicia, by the way. I'm currently the lead contributor right behind Asaf. And this is a small little tutorial video for you. Let's say you're researching something um, that's currently in the news. This is uh, the full stack experience here. You'll get some sub queries. You'll get a bunch of logs on what exactly the researcher is doing. You'll know exactly which sources the researcher is um, is pulling from, and it's going to write for you a report, um, which is going to be exportable to DocX, PDF, or MD. And that's pretty much the gist of it, but it's a really, really exciting project. Um, and I think you guys are going to really, really enjoy it. And we're looking forward to uh, beginning this journey together with you, and I'm sure you're going to have a blast. So let's get started.